Lately, I've been spending a lot of time with my family. It's nice. This whole trip that we did was a really good experience in that sense that we were able to spend a lot of time together. Because the truth is when I work, I lock myself in my office for most of the day. And we spend some time in the evenings and we spend some time in the mornings before I, I go to work. But it's not like I was spending the entire day with my kids regularly. When that happens, a lot of the times you, you kind of get used to that routine of like, all right, you know, I interact with my children X amount of hours a day because the rest of the time I'm not able to. And then when we took this trip, I got to to spend more time with them, which was really, really nice. But then it, it made me realize that I had been missing out a lot. And even though I've always been there, there are some times when I try to go work on my own thing or I prioritize myself over my kids because there's things that I feel are more important at those moments. YouTube's a good example of that. It's, it's something that I did on my free time, but there were a lot of times that that free time was taken away from other things that I could be doing with my free time, like playing with my kids or hanging out with my wife or just being present as a father. And I didn't grow up with a dad. I don't know how to be a good dad. I don't know how I'm supposed to do it. My uncle was my father figure when I was growing up and he helped as much as he could to his nephew that didn't, you know, have a dad, but still hard to like fill that void no matter what. If you grew up without a father, you'll know, right? Like it's weird being a kid without a dad. And when you become an adult and you become a dad and, and you realize that there were a lot of things that you wish you would have known and a lot of things that you wish you would have had and a lot of experiences that you feel that you missed out on because of not having that father figure. I think about a lot of that now and I think about like what my goals are. Every time I plan something, I'm always putting my kids first. I'm always putting my wife first. First, I'm trying to be like a really good dad. But then I realized that some of the things that I think I should prioritize that would be like the things that they need turn out to be not really what they need, right? Like, and some of the stuff is what they need, but they don't know it. And I have to do it to try to make sure that I can provide and things like that. Like when I set out to learn how to code, that was all for the sake of my kids and supporting my family. Like I, I did that for that. If I was single and didn't have kids at the time, I would have never followed through with it because I didn't have that fire lit underneath me. I didn't have that, hey, I really, really need to get this done because our people are depending on me for it. Every plan I make now, I prioritize them in that sense where I'm like, I'm doing this for them. And But then I look back and I'm like, I don't know if that's the case. The YouTube channel and all the stuff that I've been doing that, that takes away from time with them doesn't feel like it's for them, so to say. In a way, trying to make extra money can be for them because I can put away for their college or I can put money aside for them for when they're older or potentially make more money for myself so that I can just provide a better life for them or I can retire early so I can spend more time with them. That's the idea behind it. And then I think, well, like what they need is for me to provide more. So then I go down the path of, of like, all right, that's what I'm going to do. And then I fail to realize that I'm not doing what's important, which is like spending time with them and like being a dad, being present, being in the moment, just those little moments, even the, the, the boring moments, the ones that are just the ones that you don't really think about, but you're just there. Those are the things that I feel like I was missing. And those are the things that I'm realizing that I have to try to make sure that I'm accounting for. Just be there, man. Just, just be there. Because when I look back and I think about not growing up with a dad, the moments that I wish I would have had were just moments where someone would have been present. You know, that father would have been there. I can't pinpoint specific times when I was like, oh, I wish I had a dad right then and there. Kind of more of like, I just wish I would have had them in my life. Try my best to be that good dad. And it's hard to be a good dad when you don't have an example and you're kind of just making this stuff up on your own as you go and there's so many of us that that have to do that so many of us that grow up in like broken homes or without father figures and it's it's strange when you become the dad and you want to do the best that you can but then at the same time it's it's hard being a dad is hard and there's moments when I lose my patience or I get easily frustrated because I have other things on my mind and my kids either they do something wrong or they're trying to get my attention at a time when I'm busy and I'm short with them or I get upset and then I feel bad and 
and I feel like I'm doing it wrong. And overall, I really, I feel like I'm, I'm a good dad. My, my wife tells me I'm a good dad, but in my mind, maybe because I didn't have a dad or because of the fact that I don't really know what a good dad is or because of the fact that I feel like I'm, I'm probably doing this wrong because of those reasons, I question whether or not I am a good dad because we all lose it on our kids sometimes, right? Like no one's perfect. No parent's perfect. There's going to be times when we yell. There's going to be times when we lose our shit. That's part of parenting. I've got like 10 parenting books that I've bought and I've read a few of them and I really like work towards this and it's not something I talk about. I just want my kids to grow up and be happy that they had me as a dad. I want my kids to want to be good parents because they had good parents and I want them to have good childhoods so that they can give their kids good childhoods so that I can break that cycle because my childhood wasn't good because my dad wasn't there and honestly my mom wasn't there a lot either i want to break that and make sure that my kids look back and just have like great memories of me everybody wants to be a good, good parent but nobody really talks about what it takes to be a good parent i want my kids to be able to come to me when they have problems i want my kids to be able to feel comfortable and not be scared i want them to know that i will support them no matter what and i want them to know that they can always rely on me. I was there when they were young and I'll be there when they're older and I'll always be there because that's what good dads do. And it sucks because a lot of times dads don't get the recognition that we should. When you hear about fathers, a lot of times you hear about bad dads, dads that are abusive and you don't hear a lot about the good dads but you know who does remember the good dads or feel the impact of good fathers and bad fathers it's the children themselves and at the end of the day i'm not saying this for status i'm not saying this to you know pat myself on the back but i know i want to be a good dad i know that i can be better than i am now and i know that this is the most important thing for me and i need to focus on that more when i lose sight of the big picture and i start thinking that i need to grow a youtube channel and i start thinking that i need side hustles and business Business and extra money and all this, all I needed to do is be a good dad and spend more time with my kids because all the other stuff doesn't matter. For you guys out there that, you know, are dads or are going to be dads one day and feel that you're not ready for it or you feel that you're going to be a bad father or feel that you don't know how to be a good father, just know that you'll figure it out and just constantly pay attention to what you're doing. Ask yourself, like, would I be the dad that I wish I had? Would I be the dad that I should have had? Or would I be the dad their kids become estranged to or resent because they feel that I wasn't a good dad? I never want that to happen. So I'm constantly striving, checking myself and making sure that I'm doing what it takes to be the dad that their kids grow up to remember and want to be like when they become parents. I don't know. I kind of thought about this because I, I saw just something recently on, I think it was Joe Rogan. It was like a little clip on TikTok, but it was basically saying like, when you're about to lose it on your kids, picture that you're 80 years old and you just came back in time for this one moment with your children or child and you will never have another opportunity to come back in time to see them ever again and this one moment when you're about to lose your shit on them is the only time you'll be able to see them and travel back to a younger time when you had a moment with your child how would you react I, I get worried of getting too personal, and but then I realize that when I get personal on this channel, it, it tends to resonate with people. So then I feel like making more stuff like this and just kind of talking about what's on my mind can help. And I don't know, maybe some of you guys out there are learning how to code right now because you're expecting a kid or you're trying to provide for your family some more and you watch me for motivation. And it's, it's hard for me to wrap my head around all this stuff and having people that actually watch me and take what I say seriously. So I, I want to start getting into more real topics and real conversations that I feel that we should be having, that more men and women and people should be talking about more stuff that's more personal. And we got to just kind of get away from retention, clickbait stuff. And I'm plenty guilty of that stuff, but I feel like it's time to just get a little more real. All right. With all that said, um, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.